Pretty nervous. <laughs> In fact, I'm very nervous. I'm equipped with a race suit. I'm here just on the outskirts of Milan at Circuit Tazio Nuvolari because today I'm going to be driving a Formula 3 car. Martini have invited me out to experience Monza, the Italian Formula 1 Grand Prix, and to be honest, it is my favourite circuit. Monza is my favourite circuit. I've done lap after lap on the Xbox, on the PlayStation, and I'm so thrilled to be here to experience the Italian Grand Prix. I was expecting better weather. I'll be honest, I was expecting blue sky, sunshine, and dry tarmac, which hopefully we will get tomorrow on the Sunday. But today is the Saturday, and Martini have invited me down here to drive a Formula 3 car. The only single-seater open-wheel car that I've driven before is a standard go-kart, which anyone can go and drive, and it is not serious at all, not technical, but I feel like these cars are going to be a little bit more professional. So I'm quite nervous because it is, well, pretty wet. There are no dry lines on the circuit yet. So I got interrupted from my intro because we had to have the safety briefing, get helmet sized up and uh, get our headlining helmet thing on the go. So now we're going to head over to the pits, check out the cars. I haven't seen them yet. This is annoying me because I kind of want to have my mouth not covered when I'm talking to you guys. Essentially go for a couple of sighting laps, learn the track, hopefully the rain clouds have disappeared. The circuit is still wet, no one's driven on it this morning, so there will literally not be any dry lines at the moment. What I'm planning on doing is having my GoPro set up facing me. They've got GoPros on the cars as well, so there'll be multiple angles. And then I'm gonna try and take my iPhone out with me. I'm gonna try and take my iPhone out and record the audio on my iPhone and sync it up but they might have something to say about a, lo a loose iPhone in the cockpit. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and try and hide it from them and hopefully we, we don't have any issues and I can produce a nice visual. And obviously you can hear what I'm saying because I want to document just what it is like to drive that car as it is happening. So let's go and get fitted up and get into the cars. there I was away and as you would have just seen I had to hand my iPhone in which was hopefully gonna be recording my audio so that I could essentially bring you guys into the car with me as I hear the track but what I am experiencing and feeling right now is pure acceleration and adrenaline. I'm out there by myself, I've done one sighting lap and then jump in this single seater capable of 180 miles an hour. And I mean, when you're doing 180 miles an hour in something that is no bigger than my right shoe, it is seriously, seriously scary. The track was so wet, we had wet tires on. This is the home straight, I think this was where I hit about 170 to 180 miles an hour and to be honest I was just there to try and experience and just feel everything I wasn't there to try and set lap times I just wanted to push this car to the limit and I mean what you're about to see now like <laughs> I did kind of feel like I was on the limit here where I had to do complete full opposite lock just to keep the car in a straight line the instructor was telling me that this car had traction control as an aid but what 
you will see very, very shortly is the car spinning out. I got a little bit too confident. The brakes were amazing. The steering and the turning was something that I've never, ever experienced. And just this feeling of power to weight was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my god, I've just jumped out of the car. There was a bit of an issue. Basically, my plan was I was gonna have audio recording from my phone and somehow have that in the cockpit of the car with me. But I was told as I was literally exiting the pits that that was not possible. So there's no audio. And my dream scenario for today was to be able to commentate what I was feeling as I was driving the car. And honestly, I've literally just jumped out of it. The rain has just started to come down. I just about got a dry line around the track. And I have to say, best experience experience I've ever had driving any car single seater formula 3 it doesn't matter what the road cars are I've driven a BAC mono on the roads but to be out on the track and have no limitations whatsoever that is what dreams are made of and to be honest I literally felt like I was a racing driver I don't know what someone's doing at the moment but someone is out on the track and now I get an opportunity to hear and breathe in this just incredible experience there you go someone's going out now uh, I think they're on the warm-up lap I'll give it to them um, but pff, I just want to do it again I really really just want to do it again not actually now because the rain is starting but blown away blown away definitely that's thunder <laughs> here comes a thunderstorm <laughs> but that hands down is the best experience of driving I've ever had. I felt like a Formula One driver and it, and it just does not get better than that. <laughs> Simple as that. has just finished we arrived as the race was going off so I just had to capture as best as I could what was going on because the sound of these cars is incredible so we're here we are in Monza we were stuck in that tunnel down there and uh, the cars were going over the tunnel which just was vibrating everything the atmosphere here it's like I've never experienced this. It's just a sea of red. Ferrari is everywhere because they're obviously celebrating their 70th anniversary as well. It's just Ferrari mad, as you would imagine here being in Italy. So I'm now going to try and check out where I'm gonna be watching the race from, which is at the paddock club. I don't think I've got access to the paddock this time, which is where obviously I saw all of the drivers where they all hang out. So I'm going to do my best to uh, try and see what's going on. But it's, it's just carnage here, absolute carnage.
now starting to feel a bit tired. The hype is starting to die down. There are still so many people out on the track and this is like an indoor hospitality area where you can come and sit. The only problem is that these windows, this glass here, is quite sound dampening, quite good sound dampening, meaning that you can't actually hear the cars drive past which is why we didn't watch most of the race from here. We went up one level and watched it on the terrace and uh, it's just an incredible atmosphere. If I was to sum up the Monza Formula One, it's passion. Like you can sense just how passionate these Ferrari fans are because they are all Ferrari fans. It is like 98, 99% Ferrari fans. Even now it's just a sea of red. I can see literally like what looks to be the Ferrari pit crew over there, but it's not, they're just people in Ferrari merch. It's mental here, it is an amazing, amazing experience. And just like Silverstone, to be able to get this close to the action is something that I'm completely honored and overwhelmed that I get this opportunity to do, to come to Formula One, document it, share it with you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed my weekend in Milan, experiencing the Italian Grand Prix for the first time. Big thanks to Martini for inviting me. Big thanks to them for inviting me and organizing the Formula 3 drive because it will go down for a long time as my best driving experience until I get to drive a Formula 1 car. But I'll just have to keep my fingers crossed on that one. I'm just sort of watching as people start sort of packing things up, getting ready for the next race, which I believe could be Singapore. That is it from this incredible hospitality within the Monza Formula One Grand Prix. Incredible experience. Thank you for watching. There are some kind of different videos coming quite soon. One of them including a bike. So I'll let that sink in for me because I'm very, very nervous. I've never been on a bike before, but that is coming. There's a lot more cool stuff happening. So make sure that you stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.